Studying prehistoric fish in Cambodia involves exploring the fossil records and geological formations that provide insights into the ancient aquatic life that once thrived in the region. Here's an overview of what such a study might entail. Overview of prehistoric fish in Cambodia. Geological context. Cambodia's geological history is complex, with its landscape shaped by various tectonic and sedimentary processes. Key formations that might yield prehistoric fish fossils include a Mesozoic era, 252 to 66 million years ago, particularly the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods, which are known for rich fossil records globally. A Cenozoic era, 66 million years ago to present some regions may contain younger deposits with more recent prehistoric fish fossils. Notable fossil sites. Identifying specific fossil sites in Cambodia is crucial. Potential areas include a Mekong River Basin, known for its rich biodiversity today. This area may also hold clues to its ancient past. A Tunnel Sap Lake region, the largest freshwater lake in Southeast Asia could have preserved sedimentary layers rich in fossils. Methods of study. Paleontological fieldwork. 1. Surveying and excavation. Systematic surveys to identify promising sites, followed by careful excavation to uncover fossils. 2. Stratigraphic analysis. Studying the layers of rock or sediment to understand the geological context and age of the fossils. Fossil analysis. 1. Morphological study. Examining the physical characteristics of the fossils to classify and identify species. 2. Comparative analysis. Comparing Cambodian fossils with those from other regions to understand their evolutionary relationships. Geological and paleoenvironmental studies. 1. Sediment analysis. Analyzing the composition of sediments to infer the ancient environments where these fish lived. 2. Paleoecology. Reconstructing the ecosystems and understanding the interactions between different prehistoric species. Key prehistoric fish groups. Aplacoderms. Armored prehistoric fish from the Devonian period. Achondrichthians. Early cartilaginous fish, including ancestors of sharks and rays. Osteichthians. Early bony fish, which eventually gave rise to modern bony fish and tetrapods. Challenges and opportunities. A limited fossil records. Cambodia's fossil record is not as well documented as other regions, posing a challenge but also an opportunity for significant discoveries. A interdisciplinary collaboration, combining efforts from local geologists, paleontologists, and international experts to enhance research. A conservation and awareness, protecting fossil sites and raising awareness about the importance of paleontological heritage. Potential discoveries and significance. A evolutionary insights. Discovering new species could provide valuable information about the evolution of fish and other vertebrates. Paleoenvironmental reconstruction. Understanding ancient climates and ecosystems can offer insights into how current and future environmental changes might impact biodiversity. Conclusion. Studying prehistoric fish in Cambodia requires a multidisciplinary approach, combining fieldwork, fossil analysis, and geological studies. This research can not only enrich our understanding of the region's natural history, but also contribute to broader knowledge about the evolution of life on Earth.